Hey everybody, it's Brian from TheUnlocker.com and we're back again today with the Asus EPad Transformer and we've already uh, rooted and loaded a custom recovery on this. If you missed that, go check out our previous video on how to do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through the process of installing your first custom ROM. Alright guys, let me start by wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving. It is uh, Thursday, November 24th in the wee hours of the morning and we're here getting you ready for all your Black Friday uh, goodies because if you can pick one of these up uh, Black Friday or you know thereafter as a Christmas gift for someone else or yourself and you can get this for sub $300, uh, don't hesitate. You will be very pleased with your purchase decision. I bought this for $400 five, six months ago and it was worth every penny then. I'd still pay $400 for this tablet today. So uh, there's some deals to be had and we're going to show you now how to make it better. Uh, in a previous uh, video we have rooted and installed a custom recovery which you have to have done prior to installing a custom ROM. So if you haven't done that yet go check out that video and then come back here. Uh, now first thing we're going to do is we got to pick a ROM. So if we go into our browser here you can see I've already got XDA posts loaded up and my personal ROM of choice is one called Revolver ROM and it's made by uh, New Fabio or New Fabio however it is you say it I apologize if I'm killing your screen name buddy but um, if we go to his post here which you can find on XDA and we'll obviously have the links below uh, in the description of this video uh, but if you go to the download section there you'll see that the download you know the current version is 3.9.3 and that's the full download go ahead and download that file and then you're going to need to move that uh, because it will download to your internal uh, storage and you do need to have an uh, a SD card uh, inserted to be able to flash ROMs into recovery so make sure you uh, you have one of those doesn't have to be big I mean anything you know 2 gig 4 gig whatever I happen to have a 16 gig card in mind but uh, make sure you do that um, use any file manager you can use the built-in one here and you can uh, you know it'll probably download to your SD card and then your download category or your download folder it'll download in there go ahead and just grab that file and then you want to move it into your removable storage micro SD and we've got ours in the ROM section and you can see right there it is now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how to install this but we've got to get into um, our recovery software and to do that on the stock ROM, you really don't have a option right now. Um, once you install the new ROM, I'll show you how uh, the power menu has been improved. Uh, but for right now, if we press and hold the power key, we just get a dialog box to shut down, which is pretty limited, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and say OK, and then this will power off. Once the device completely powers off, we're going to boot into recovery by holding the volume down key and the power key at the same time. You gotta hold them for about three seconds. As soon as you see the screen turn on, go ahead and let go, and now press the up key, your volume up key, and that will take you into recovery. You can see we've got Clockwork Mod Recovery installed here, and we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna do Install Zip from SD Card. Okay, so go ahead and click on that. Now we're gonna choose Zip from SD Card, and at this point in time, if you wanted to, um, you could uh, wipe, wipe data, do a factory reset. It's probably, I mean, if you just purchased your device, you really don't have to. But if you've been using it for a while, you're probably going to want to when you're switching ROM. So let's go ahead and let's just do that just for argument's sake. And click yes. And now it's formatting the data and the cache. And um, now we're back to the same menu. Scroll down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and now wherever it is on your SD card that you put that uh, ROM file, you're going to want to go ahead now and scroll down, mine's in ROM, and then there it is right there. Go ahead and just click on it to flash it, select yes, and then this is going to go ahead and it's going to have an install script. And it'll run, and it'll yeah, it'll take a minute or so. As soon as it's done, we'll we'll pick up from there. All right, that took about a minute or so, and uh, you can see here we've got all this dialogue 
uh, showing us the various things that it was doing uh, while it was installing. And then at the bottom it says for a better experience, download revolver parts from the market, which I will show you here in a few minutes. Right now what we got to do is we have to boot back, uh, back up into our normal ROM now. So we're going to scroll down to go back. And then up at the very top you're going to see reboot system now. And you're going to want to go ahead and click on that. Now you'll see that the boot animation has been changed, and I'll show you that briefly, and then we'll cut until we're uh, we're back up into the device. It, it'll look much like the uh, the device when you first got it in terms of you'll be at a welcome screen, and once you uh, once you set up your basic things like Wi-Fi, your Google account, that kind of thing, um, go into the market and download revolver parts, and uh, I'll pick it up from that part uh, where we've got revolver parts. So. All right, now we're uh, we're booted back up. We are running the revolver ROM now, and we can prove that by going into our settings and going to the about tablet seg section. And if you look at the build number, it says HTK uh, 75 dot revolver, which obviously does not say on the stock ASUS software. So we do have a custom ROM on here now, and it's very much stock. Uh, you can see the widgets uh, has reverted back to Celsius. Uh, now what we need to do is go into our market and install the revolver parts, uh, which I'm currently downloading. So as soon as that's done downloading, uh, we'll launch that and show you what that's all about. Okay, so we've got revolver parts loaded. And just a side note, I did have to reboot my unit uh, just one complete time. And uh, it wasn't downloading uh, apps from the app market. And you can see here I've got a different wallpaper. It did that on its own as it reverted to my last uh, static wallpaper. So, uh, you know, you just flashed a new ROM on there. So not a bad idea to give it a full reboot to do that. Obviously, you just press and hold the power key. And now you can see we've got a much more functional uh, menu where we can reboot the device instead of just shutting it down. We can reboot into recovery or we can make a bunch of tweaks to the status bar. So lots of cool options. There's lots of reasons to run a uh, custom ROM rather than a stock ROM. Uh, but we're going to show you now the uh, revolver parts application. And this is real cool because uh, all the updates and things like that, like you can see we are running the, the current version of 3.9.3, the latest version is 3.9.3, so it gives us some information there, but then we've also got various mods that we can do, so you can change the, uh, the buttons, these are the stock zoom buttons down here in the bottom, and you can see those, kind of lame, don't really like them, so I typically put on the... Uh, um, either the Lenovo ThinkPad one, those are kind of cool, or the um, uh, just the Asus uh, stock buttons. Um, really doesn't matter. I mean, you can you know pick whatever you want. And then obviously there's kernels. Uh, and these are various kernels for it. So uh, these are you know overclock provide overclock uh, capabilities to you. I recommend the uh, the Clemson kernel or the Blade kernels. Um, I find that the Prime uh, OC kernel doesn't run as smoothly, at least not for me. Your mileage may vary. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a couple different options there. Themes uh, that you can select from right on this device. So uh, the HTC Jet, Jetstream theme, uh, if you're into that. Ice cream sandwich theme, which is what I was running before. It looks pretty, uh, pretty nice. Not a whole lot of changes, but it's a, it's a subtle change. Uh, other, just other different apps that you can install, uh, things that have been ported from other devices. And your system, you can have a zip align on boot, uh, which makes your boot take uh, extremely long. You really don't want to do that, in my opinion. Maybe, you know, check it once, uh, you know, once in a while, reboot your, your ROM, let it zip align. Uh, but, you know, a bunch of different options here, you know, status bar tweaks and that kind of stuff. You can go back to the stack, stock battery icon, but now you can see and for the camera will focus, and I don't know if it's picking that up, but uh, we've got the actual battery percentage uh, listed on the battery there. So some nice tweaks, some nice things you can do uh, with this device. Obviously, we can install a new kernel, and then we can go ahead and overclock it and uh, use uh, set CPU for that, which you can download for free at XDA if you're an XDA member. Uh, if not, I think it's like $2.99 or something in the market. You can pick that up. Uh, but that's uh, that's basically it. You're now running a custom ROM, and you can go and go through and play with all the tweaks and all that stuff. And 
like I said, it's uh, it's Thanksgiving. Black Friday is tomorrow. If you're looking at possibly getting one of these, it's obviously very easy to root and uh, ROM. Uh, we're already up and running here with minimal work. Haven't had to connect to a computer or do anything like that. It doesn't get much easier than this. And uh, very fast device, very good ROM selection between this, Prime, and there's a few other ones. Um, but I'm, I've mainly been between the Revolver ROM and the Prime ROM. And those are my two recommendations, uh, at least for anyone starting out, as they appear to be uh, two of the most stable builds. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And again, happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next time.